Recently, when visiting a local merchant, it was apparent that a review of their hiring policies may benefit their business. The fact that folks won't soon forget about how you make them feel is apparently unfamiliar to the employees of this establishment. This is one of those outfits that must be run by individuals who don't need the money because they seem motivated to run opportunity right back out the door from which it entered. A question was tabled regarding a very serious topic of concern with regard to potential legislation affecting their industry, which may have serious implications for a considerable percentage of their clients. The response was, if I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't have to work here. I'd be rich because I could predict the future. This response was true to form and consistent with many previous experiences with the staff at this establishment. To respond in kind would have sounded something like, how foolish of me. I mistakenly thought you knew something about this. My apologies. This, however, would have only served to expedite a further degradation in the discourse. Perhaps instead, we may consider it a teaching moment. According to the Oxford Languages Dictionary, the proverb, familiarity breeds contempt, explains that extensive knowledge of or close association with someone or something leads to a loss of respect for them or it. Perhaps the wannabe fortune teller was simply demonstrating his frustration with being asked once again the same question for the sixth time that day. Perhaps he possesses the social graces of a porcupine. Regardless of the reason, his response displayed a clear lack of respect, the results of which are not conducive to profitable business dealings. Whether we are using industry abbreviations, slang, or simply assuming our guests are familiar with a certain topic, we may be hampering our own business dealings. If we slide right past a concern they are tabling, brushing it off as rather pointless conversation, we may be foolishly missing an opportunity to capture credibility, let alone simply being decent. We'll usually only have to make these mistakes once or twice. Too many of these missteps may put us in a lower income tax bracket. Proving to our audience that we are the smartest person in the room, that we are an industry insider, the dues to which they haven't paid admission, or whatever our attempted point may be, will not pay the bills. Careful attention to detail will always serve us well. If we notice our response to our guest's inquiry leaves them wincing, we may seek to consider how to modify our positions and particularly our responses to improve communication. Checking our egos at the door when we arrive to work will help as well. Humility is an underappreciated virtue outwardly displayed by even fewer. Our interactions probably shouldn't be perceived as either, but if they must be, battle or war, which do we truly desire to win? Think about it. Good luck and good selling.